Hello all! Um, today I'm just going to show you a really quick video. Um, I'm just cooking um, a meal prep for the week. So I'll be doing um, maybe five or six little meals. Um, freezer ready meals. Okay, so here we have um, what I will be using. All my chicken, I've got mince, I've got all my sauces, and I'm cheating a little bit with the chicken. I bought these kind of things to crumb my, you know, make my chicken a little bit more tastier. Um, and I do, because it's not the best mince, I do boil my mince to get rid of all that yucky fat out of it. Okay, here's my rough list of, um, oh, a bit of a guide on what I'm hoping to do. Oh, you can't really see it that, that well. But anyway, it's like chicken um, with something there, chicken with something there, chicken with something there, mince for tacos, mince for patties, shredded chicken with other something there. I don't know, it'll all, it'll all work out at the end anyway. Okay, quick update with my cooking. This is the mince, getting rid of all the fat, boiling it. This is my chicken, I'm poaching. I'm gonna do a shredded, beautiful shredded chicken. And this is a bit of bacon for when the time comes to for my some fried rice. Okay, so this is only one of the meals. So basically I usually do not use measurements, but just for this video, because it's me and Kobe, it's roughly one cup of chicken and probably what, a quarter, order of a cup of capsicum and then I just put it on a plate to give you a visual or give myself a visual to know how much is going to go with my meal. All right, original coconut anemo sauce it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to put a bit of this glaze in it because I can and, and I also when I use broccoli please use the stem it is the best I use every part of the broccoli I chop it up into little pieces, I'll square that, and you put it in your dishes. So, I've not done have to focus on me, I've done it like this, so you can just, I can just show you quickly what I'm doing with this next chicken. So, because it's for Kobe and I, I tend to do um, just one cup of chicken, and I got a plate, and I put it on a plate, and the, you know, I'm a visual person, so I had to kind of see how much I was going to use for one dinner for me and Kobe. So, I've got the chicken, and I'm just going to put it all in here. And I've chopped up some carrot, capsicum, a little bit of onion, spring onion, uh, broccoli, and um, always use the stems for broccoli. And I, should, I might take out a bit of onion because I know one little miss isn't very keen on onion. Stick you all in. Now I've got frozen, um, I made my own basil pesto uh, last summer. So um, this one's going to be a chicken pesto. So here we go. And they were they were actually in ice trays. But I don't want to use too much because I know it's strong. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually I might just have a little taste, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that's got our parmesan cheese in it. So I'm just gonna turn mix all that a bit. Put some uh, oil, maybe two tablespoons, pinch of salt, not too much. I won't, I was going to put my pepper in, but um, again, Kobe's only not, not keen on that pepper, so I'm just going to do a little bit of the black pepper. Stir it around. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bit of lime. It is actually lime, even though it looks like lemon. It's come from my mum's neighbour in Amber. Peace tree. So there we go. Grab uh, one of your glad bags. Stick it in the bowl here like that. Right, grab a 
grab your spoony yeah. dishy thing. And this is going to be another meal. And it's just a stir fry, so it's going to be frozen. You can take it out that morning or at lunchtime. These ones here at the moment. This one will be cooked and put away and then headed up in the microwave. But we'll be back. Okay, here is my sweet and sour chicken cooking. And I'm going to add some extra pineapple to it, which is the bomb. But I will um, confess something. It is you can't see, it's crushed. Oh well, it's supposed to be pieces, but hey, you just do what any other chef does and you yeah, just do what you have to do. <laughs> and seriously, knives are so overrated. Yep. That's it. That's 
that's the winning combination. Course one, two, and three coming down the field. Now, where's my bowl? Where's my bowl? Okay. Chicken in once again. And my Greek yogurt. Middle Eastern blend and paprika. Mmm, that's absolutely delish. So, that's in there now. And then all I've got is a bit of broccoli oil, broccoli stems, capsicum, just a little bit of the spring onion because all the microbes ain't too big on the onion ish things at the moment, and a little bit of carrot. You can put anything in it, anything. This is just what was in my fridge. Okay, in that goes. And then you stir away. Look at that. Away. Yum, yum, yum. So, pinch of salt and a little uh, brown pepper. Because I'm finding even though Kobe's 10, she's, she's now noticing I love hot spicy food. You give me a jalapeno, I'll eat it whole. Um, she's even finding the black pepper a little bit hot. But I'm focusing her into a slow. As I keep telling her, you want to travel the world, sweetheart? You'll be eating different foods from all over the world like mummy did. And you have to adapt. Alright. Now, flat back. Around. 
There we go. So I'm not even taking off. And another tip from Mr. J, who was a master chef. Which was my fault. That's what this challenge is. Jacka, you can always add, but you can never take out. Oh, have I instilled that into Kobe's little wine, which you can You can add, sweetheart, but never take it out. So be careful. Right. I've got that in there. Now I've got, uh, oh no, actually first, a little bit of chopped garlic. Garlic can go in there, not too much. And I've got my zucchini, carrot, and frozen carrot peas and corn. Voila, too easy. Fresh broccoli, a bit of catsup. All go in there. All go in there. With a splash, good splash, yeah, probably about two tablespoons of olive oil. You mix with your hand. And at the moment, I've got my water boiling over here, because now I'm going to do some Chinese fried rice. Okay, at the moment, I've got my jasmine rice cooking for the. Chinese fried rice and yeah you know because I just can't do enough at once I've got my porridge and I'm toasting it and I put in the container for my breakfast and I sprinkle that on my yogurt with apples and banana and what else but I love my porridge toasted in the morning and my yogurt. Okay so now I'm going to do some mince, a taco mince so that's all boiled. And I just get an idea of how much to put in my bags by well, putting it on, just guessing how much I'll have and what Kobe will have. So when I make it, freeze it, and I bring it out, and then I'm not wasting stuff that hasn't been eaten. So yeah, okay. So I'm guessing. Bolognese is done. The bolognese. 
It is, oh my God. Oh sweet, gentle Jesus in the garden. Gorgeous. It just reminds me of my father's spag bowl. I don't use tin stuff. I don't use, it's all fresh. Mm. Mm. So I've got bay leaves in it. Bay leaves, which a bit of a Worcestershire sauce, tomatoes, bit of salt, bit of pepper, and a teaspoon of Vegemite. It's always gone into anything that I cook with mint, always a teaspoon of Vegemite because at the end of the day, seriously, it's just salt. That's all it is, it's salt. So don't add salt, add the Vegemite. Um, yep, and that's all I have in that. So I'm gonna let that cool now. That's another one of my meals, frozen meals. And um, my next one, oh, I've still got the fried rice over here to put away. I'm doing um, some shredded chicken wraps. So, I shall be back. Hello. Okay, now my taco mince has cooled, mm, cooled down. Um, I didn't realise, but I did go out and buy yesterday these Hercules freezer guard bags and it said small small it's not really small but I didn't realize and then I went back in my drawer and found out I do have some resaleable sandwich bags you know the word freezer yeah it'll sell it to you you know yeah more expensive because it says freezer you know holy crap no you can use sandwich uh, bags same thing um, and this is the size which I'm starting to use like so that's a medium and it's a small go figure or you know what black and gold little little bags that pop in you know just those little freezer bags will do doesn't matter as long as your food's in the freezer held tight it's all good so now I'm just gonna spoon in. oh watching one of my favorite shows in all the world mystery diners now, if anyone out there is in TV and they want a mystery diner, show to start up, I'm your woman. I'll help you. In Australia. That would be unreal. A mystery diner. What that show helps restaurateurs who own restaurants um, find out why there's discrepancies in their... Um, in the restaurant, be it um, stock going missing, the numbers aren't adding up, kegs going missing, staff not being good staff. How good would that be? Right down my alley. Okay, so there, there's taco mints done, just like that. Too easy. And next, I will be doing. Um, I've got my taco shredded tacos. Bolognese and fried rice. Okay, now I am going to put my fried rice in. Um, another thing about these glad bags, they don't have to say the word freezer on them. Uh, that's marketing ploy, you know, for you to spend more money. You can have a normal sandwich bag or go even cheaper. One of these plastic little freezer bags, you know what, 90 cents for 100 from Coles. Just make sure it's sealed tight. I mean, you can even put a rubber band around it, the top, if you need to. Um, so, I'm going to be doing some fried rice, but I need even small ones. Because it's just like, see, okay, so I'm going to use these for my fried rice. Um, and there is my fried rice. So I am going to do the rest and not bore you with that. Okay, now for next meal, which is my spaghetti bolognese. Well, just the bolognese um, from my father's recipe. And it's just absolutely Jesus Christ from his garden smell. It is beautiful. So I'm gonna put these ones in the bigger ones because there's a little bit of liquid in there. So... Mm. Oh, and do take the, um, mm, the bay leaves out. The bay leaves always make a good spag bowl. 
in my family that is. Everyone's different, everyone has different taste buds. Here in there, another one. Let's see what we have. You can always take out from one and put in the other. It's just too easy. You know what's going to happen. This one, I'll tell you, is more watery than this one because I've just taken from up the top. So I'm going to spoon a bit of you in there and mix it around. Another little trick. Don't just, maybe I, I should keep spooning, you know, turning and then pour, turning and pour. Otherwise you are going to end up with one dry and one really wet. I'll bag them up and do my burritos next. Booyah! But as Kobe would do. I think it's dab, dab, double dab. Oh, such a trendy mum. <laughs> okay, same, short and sweet. Bit of jasmine rice. In it goes. And it's going to get frozen. Okay, now for my last frozen meal dish. It is a shredded chicken wrap. So it's all in there, all my yummies. I uh, cooked uh, chicken breast, shredded it, put some black beans, the black beans in it. I've also cheated a bit and I looked in my fridge and thought, what else can I add to it? Uh, four seasons coleslaw, packed like that. Just put some of that in it. Um, seasoned it, salt, pepper, a little bit of um, nutritional yeast. And, um, so instead of paying um, $10, oh, what is it? Used to be, I haven't had them for a long time. Used to be something like, what, you can get two for $10? It's like that. Make mine for $1.50. So, in you go. Not too much. You know, I always have a problem of over-indulging. But a bit of uh, cheese. Now, when... This, I'm, this is mild, only because of Cody. So what I like to do is, um, when I do defrost it, I will open it up and I will put a little bit of jalapenos in it. Um, I will put some more cheese in it. I will put cayenne pepper in it. Um, I'll put more stuff, hot stuff, and then stick it in the microwave, oh, sorry, the oven. So you stick it in the oven and, um, White guys, yeah, well, at the moment they're just pretty, just pretty wild. Well. Rich soil and sun baked sure. fields are the ingredients for some of our country's most delicious produce. Just like our new range of Golden Valley fruit. Roll and you in. So pick up a pack today. And you know what? I would These are great also breakfast. You can freeze breakfast wraps. You know, egg, scrambled egg, real egg, a bit of ham, bacon, cheese, anything. And um, there you go. One ready to freeze <gasps> chicken wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and not bore you with the rest. I'll be back. My last frozen meal dish. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. So we have this one is my shredded chicken as I was speaking to you before um, just plain and the reason why I've got these on here is to tell me that they are the shredded chicken plain and these ones are the shredded chicken and I put pineapple in them so shredded chicken all the goodies in it with um, the pineapple and cheese um, what you can do even if you're going to have someone over I say these are going in the freezer in the freezer oh, they can stay there for three six months someone comes over um, you're going to someone's house let's bring a meal put these in a baking dish and then pour like four in a baking dish pour orange juice over it um, tomatoes you know let it bake in the oven and then just tear it apart it will be beautiful my darling beautiful oh so much I could do so little people to share it with okay so here are all my meals and I will bring them closer to show you what I've done Okay, as I said, here are all my meals. 
but they're not just a meal I don't have a set menu so I've made these um, like shredded chicken pineapple plain I've got my taco mints for nachos I've got my beautiful basil pesto chicken which will go with rice I've got my yogurt middle eastern paprika chicken and vegetables two of those soy chicken all done um, packet lemon garlic and cream and uh, what is it uh, chicken and frozen veg you know there I've got my smoke and Texas rub chicken I've got my sweet and sour chicken I've got sweet and sour chicken and rice already done just to be heated up in the microwave a bolognese sauce I've got some jasmine rice and I've got one two three four Chinese fried rice okay so I hope you've enjoyed seeing all this cooking that I do. Um, I can understand those mums who work full time or work, you know, it is hard. Um, I'm not working at the moment, so I can do this. Um, I'm actually thinking I might um, do a few meals like this for my mum in Yamba, you know, she's 72. Um, do it for some friends, uh, you know, you, you provide the ingredients and I provide the time think you know there's a price just on an hourly basis I can do this for you it's too easy I'm going to the Chugan um, theatre tonight with my daughter Kate and Emily and I it's you can eat there uh, so it's dinner and show bring your own food so I am actually going to take half of this they're not frozen yet half of the smoke and Texas chicken wrap I'm gonna cook that up and I'm going to put it in a salad for me with a little bit, and I'll take a little half of that out, a little bit of that in the salad too. Oh, you know, $35 that would cost that meal in a proper restaurant. The Jansen Hilton, $2.50. Too easy. All right, hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys later. That's all I have to say. Don't have many bloopers. Maybe I do. Maybe I deleted them. I'll have to go back and have a look. Okay, bye. Mwah. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little tip when you are packing your freezer with your freezer meals to start off with. Make sure everything is flat. Oh. Here we go. Everything lies flat. Okay? So you can just swish it out like that. What you do, just a quick one, flatten it out. When it freezes, then it's all frozen, then you can sit everything up and everything sits up like that and you've got more room in your freezer. There you go.